Welcome to my backyard and video number four of what we've been talking about, which is the gospel. Why the gospel? What's so significant about the gospel? Now, the gospel is more than just a ticket to heaven, though it includes that. It is God's solution to the sin problem. And it is such good news, and every one of us is called by God and anointed and appointed to share this good news. In these previous lessons, we talked about the gospel message. And when I share the gospel, and this is what I said, I, I always go at it as four pieces or four portraits of who God is and the Bible. The gospel, if you look at it, it's the message of redemption and it's Genesis to Revelation. It's God making things new. It's the message about the creator God, the creation, how we mess things up by our, our own self-righteous choices and uh, the consequences for that and how God is setting things right. And so today we're going to look at the third point of the gospel, which is Christ's redemption. And we talked about creation. We talked about the creator. In Genesis chapter 1 and 2, it's the blueprint of God. It's what God was aiming for. He was creating us good. He, was, he created this earth good. His intentions were nothing but good. He gave us everything we needed. But then through our own selfish choices, we brought sin and death into the world. Sin and death was never the, the, the desire. It was never the plan and intent of God. It was the result of choice. As I said in the last video, and you might need to go back to the last three and check out what we were talking about because they build off of each other. But one of the things I said is that because God is a love, He created us with choice. If, you create, if God had created us without choice, He would have been nothing but a dictator. Because love that is, that is not that is not received, love that is demanded, is not real love, it's abuse. God created us with the ability to either receive or reject who He is and this offer of eternal life. And we all know that Adam and Eve and every one of us down through, through the generations have rejected God's offer of eternal life and we've chosen our own way and the result is sin and death. Not God's plan, not His design, but it's the result of sin. And people need to understand the results of sin, the consequences of sin, our own selfish nature outside of Jesus Christ. They've got to understand that to really to value and to grasp the love of God that was displayed in Jesus Christ. And so this leads us to our third point, which is Christ's redemption. What was this price that God paid to restore us back? And it was nothing less than the death of Jesus Christ on a brutal Roman cross in our place and instead of us as our substitute. This is what 2 Corinthians chapter 5 said. It says, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's sins against them, and He has committed to us this message of reconciliation. Now, a couple things that verse tells us. It says that God was in Christ. The message of the gospel is not about an angry God and Jesus who stepped in so God didn't destroy the human race. The gospel is the message that God through Jesus Christ set things right. It's the message about a good God who would rather die, then have us live another moment separated and dead in our sins. God is a good father, and a good father, the best father, was willing to take on sin, death, and hell, and to defeat the devil, and to strip him of his power so that we could be set free. So the gospel, there's so much about the message of the cross that I'm trying to cram into five minutes. Uh, the cross, it's the message of Christ's substitution. He died as us. He died in our place. He died as a result of the consequences of sin. He died so we don't have to die. It's the message of victory. Jesus Christ stripped the devil of his power. He defeated the enemy. The, Jesus defeated the devil. When he went into the grave, he took away his power so that the devil does not have to afflict you. He does not have to destroy you. Jesus, through the death and burial and resurrection, he destroyed the enemy. The, mess, the gospel is the message that everything that Adam and Eve, the cross is the message of, that everything Adam and Eve introduced into the world, God 
and Jesus through the cross are setting things right. So the gospel, the good news, Christ's redemption is this. God put on flesh and blood. He came to our level. When Jesus was 32 years old, he was rejected and he was sentenced to die, but this was all part of God's plan. Jesus Christ was stripped and nailed to a cross. And as he hung on that cross, all of the sin of the world came into the body of Jesus. That's what 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says. God made him who knew no sin to be sin. Somehow, Jesus didn't only die for the consequences, but he became our sin. He died the death we deserve. He went into the grave and our sin held him there. But in the grave, Jesus believed the Father. He obtained righteousness. He received an inheritance. And after three days and three nights, he came back from the dead defeated the devil, purchased freedom and forgiveness for the whole world, sat down at the right hand of the Father, said, it's finished, it's been paid in full, it's done, redemption is complete, and then he poured out the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes into your life, he makes all things new. He takes everything that Jesus obtained through inheritance and he makes it ours when we believe the gospel. Healing is yours. Why? As a result of Jesus Christ dying and taking your sickness upon the cross. Freedom from sin is yours. Why? Because Jesus went to the cross and died for your sin. Victory is yours. Why? Because Jesus stripped the devil of, of all his power and he made you more than a conqueror. Everything you need for life and godliness has been provided through the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is at the heart of the gospel. That is the good news that the world needs to hear. And it's, it's a gift of grace. We don't earn it. We don't deserve it. Jesus earned it. He deserved it. He provided it. And we entered in. In this next lesson, we're going to look at what is our response to the gospel. But until then, you might need to watch this again. You might need to let these facts of redemption and who Jesus is, who the Father is, what they did for you, let them sink in. This isn't just the message for the world. This is the message that every believer needs to grasp. So God bless you. Be blessed and have a great week. Music